Sanctuary cities from forming in Idaho was reintroduced to the House State Affairs Committee today. From inside the State House, political reporter Marissa Morrison explains what changes were made to the bill. Republican Representative Greg Cheney reintroduced legislation that would prevent cities and counties from becoming sanctuary cities. This is to prohibit the use of immigration policy and the sanctuary city sort of ordinance from being used as the means by which localities protest the Trump administration. Cheney introduced similar legislation in January, but the new bill cuts half of the state sales tax funding from Idaho cities and counties if local law enforcement agencies don't follow federal immigration laws. The original bill would have removed all sales tax funding. The new bill also no longer requires police officers to check the immigration status of anyone they arrest for a misdemeanor or felony charge. Representative Paulette Jordan voted against introducing the bill. I think in total this bill is entirely unnecessary and just seeks to uh, really rile folks and again divide communities. Jordan questioned the need for the bill during the introductory hearing, citing the current lack of any sanctuary cities in Idaho. If there was ever a time when a, a Boise or a Sandpoint or a Coeur d'Alene or a Pocatello were to choose to, un to undertake this sort of an action, the sort of which that is uh, prohibited in this bill, or rather this RS, um, it would be now when anxieties are at the highest. The bill will now receive a full committee hearing. Reporting inside the State House, Marissa Morrison, six on your side.